guys, it's Kenny here again, and welcome back to another brand new YouTube video. And oh my goodness, I have been waiting to watch this for like a week, about a week now. And, I, and we're, I'm going to be reacting to, actually, this is going to be a 3-in-1 video today. Because first, I'm going to be reacting to um, Trust Issues Part 1. Then, I'm going to be reacting to the behind the scenes and cut content. And then lastly, I'm actually going to be re reacting to a little secret video that LEGO put out for his fan. For, for the fan base, so so every so if you guys don't know, a lot of people have been figuring out about this like little secret thing, this little secret clue that Lego put out just yesterday, I think. And th this was actually in his group land, and uh, people have found out about the code, and people have got it, and it led to like some type of a you. I, I don't know how to say it, but it, it led to like a little video if you put it the little code in reverse So I'm that's what I'm gonna be reacting to last because yes, and uh, yeah So uh, without further ado, let's get into this 3-in-1 video guys Alrighty guys, so the first video of the film that we're gonna be reacting to from PGHL Films is gonna be the long-awaited Trust Issues Part 1 Oh my goodness, it's been over one year and three months since an RP film came out, the last one was a bittersweet reunion, and the last RP film that he uploaded was like the chapters one to ten marathon. Although that doesn't count since it's only a marathon. So, yeah, at least he made a marathon off of it, so that way we can have a, like a little long movie. So, anyways, um, if we take a look at the description here, I am extremely late. This this literally premiered on July twenty first, which which I wasn't on my computer at the time, but. Yeah, since I had to pack for like vacation stuff, but anyways, uh, let's take a look at the description here. This story starts off with two people in an illusion. One gives an offer to see the victim's close friend once again with a young pig who's got nothing to lose take that offer. And uh, I'll read this at the end of the film, so yeah. Let's see what we got. So this is only part one, and I'm guessing, I'm assuming that part two is going to be coming out at a later date. So yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. I already said that twice, but anyways, let's go. Oh. So. Oh yeah, I forgot. So oh, I'm sorry for pausing the video, guys. But the, where we left off is was um, Coda was upgrading a Lego suit, and then uh, George found out about this little teleportation chamber, and uh, George went to go take a look at it and touch it, and then um, yeah, he he. It, it led to him here, and then Tio popped up. So yeah. Yep, that is true. Wow, you really put a FNAF reference in there, didn't you, George? <laughs> who? Wait, who are you, Purple Dude? Oh wait, I'm Purple Dude. <laughs> oh wait a minute, what? Hold on. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Dang, that that. Whoa, what? Whoa. Now we're in disorder disorder memory now. Oh. 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 Oh, the teleporter trap. Oh. I didn't know. Of course you didn't know. You know why? You're a kid. Is he talking about Lego when he said Brickless Figure? I think he is. But like, geez, Teal's voice sounds like very, very cool. I, I wish I could do something like this, but like, but like, I can't because I suck at it. But anyways. Whoa, what? Where are we? Where's Joe? Baldy? What the heck? Uh, okay, I get it, but Lego is like a Baldi Space fan, but like, what the heck? This, this is just cra crazy, bro. We're already like one minute into this, and this is just crazy. I, I, bro, but like, Teal's animation is like so smooth, and his voice is like so intimidating, bro. Like, what the heck? He literally sounds like an evil person, like an evil antagonist. Like, this is what Teal should have been in the original Piggy game. Like, this is just crazy. Oh, my. Well, that's cool. Oh my god, Teal is actually drinking alcohol and Piggy is real. Oh my god, I need, why did I, why am I doing this? 
<laughs> this is just so stupid for me to read, watch this. Like, uh, I'm sorry for pausing the video, guys. This is just so good. I don't know why I'm doing this. Uh, okay. But like, seriously, though. That's that's cool, though. I Wait, I think I think this was based off a reference to um Super Nazza painting or like drawing to a Tio drinking a glass of wine. So I I think is that I think that's what I'm guessing. I think it is. But anyways, you know, depending how careful you are, you be careful for my path. Very well. How would you like to join me on my adventure journey? That is so smooth. I think he animated no. this in Blender. I'm, I'm not showing you. I don't even know who you are. I'm not doing that. I feel like leather animations are like just so smooth. Oh. What about her? Oh. Oh, is this gonna get to the distraction champion? No matter how much you try, then I'm here to help you let that out of your system. I think he used a lot of filters on this. So that's why the light is. Oh my god. Don't tell me that. Okay. Don't. Wait, what? What the heck? Oh wait, I think he le I think he I think he made a little teaser on this in his uh, Twitter community post and a YouTube community post. So something something in his head is telling him don't. Yeah, no, don't do it. Don't do it, George. Don't you Oh my goodness, no. Wait, what? What is he talking about? Whoa, what the heck? What the heck, dude? How did he manage to do all this? This is crazy. How did he do this hologram effect? This is just crazy. This is cool. The, this hologram is leading to all of his, uh, all of Lego's RP films, dude. What the heck? Whoa, what? Oh. What the heck is going on? Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. What the heck, dude? So, now I'm guessing we're inside of uh, Willow Gets Run Over by a Car RP Film episode. I don't even know what I'm saying, but... What the... Bro, <laughs> I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of when people wake up into the back rooms. Like, this kind of reminds me of the piggy back rooms a little bit, because you, you wake up and then you just see, like, yourself, like, in the middle of nowhere. But, but instead, George is in the refinery, so he's technically not in the back rooms. Oh, the lighting is different. Dang, this is his old RP. Dang, it feels... Hey. Dang, it feels so weird going back to his old RP film. But, what? But yeah, this is, this is what we saw in the, in the um, preview clip of this film. I can already feel the back side of the big community coming for us. This is probably gonna be oh like a 20 God. minute long video. Me too. Because of how, how, long, how many times I'm pausing, but anyways. Yeah, the, this was just so sad. Yep, uh, that 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 I, I love that transition though. That that is really nice. Wait, I want I want to go back and watch that again. Hold on. Uh, I don't know why, but that just looks so cool. There we go. Everything has changed. I just love that dude. Yep. Mhm. Mm Yourself, Sissy. It's just a scratch. The others are away. What am I gonna do now? Um. Wait. Oh, I remember this. <laughs> yeah! You're so bad! I can't believe what you said that! Ah! Yep, no, I remember this. That's stupid. I remember this uh, from the preview clip. What? The twins have woken up. Yep. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. What? The music's different in this. So, if you guys don't know, in the original preview clip, he used um, Twist the, the Twins theme from, that was made by these like tw Twisted Twins, but apparently, it's different now. Like, that's, well, that's different though. 
Wait, did he use, um, wait, hold on. Did he use a different theme for this, or did he compose this? Did he use, like, a soundtrack from another, like, like, film or something? I, I don't know. Or, or, unless if he composed this, uh, but I don't know. Oh, well, this is different. We have not seen this book before yet. Oh, she's actually tearing up. That's Sissy. cool. Sissy, I'm here! Sissy! Oh, wait a minute, what? Were those like Spider-Man, Spider-Verse effects? Like, I feel like this was like a Spider-Man, Spider-Verse themed. Like from both movies into the Spider-Verse and across the Spider-Verse. So, I'm guessing this is a Spider-Verse, Spider-Man themed movie. So that's cool. So I'm guessing he's just a ghost or like an illusion. So, so Zizzy and can't actually see anything. She can't even see George because he's just an illusion, I think. What? What the that's just so cool. What the heck? What the heck, dude? That's so cool. Oh, that I'm guessing this is like a little choppy animation of her sissy running. That's cool. Whoa! What the heck, dude? Okay, that, okay, this is definitely based off the um this is definitely it will, this film was definitely inspired by a Spider-Man across and into the Spider-Verse. This is crazy, bro. I, I, I'm loving this effects, bro. I feel like the... I, I don't know. This is just so cool, man. I could barely even speak right now, but like... Jeez. Oh, wait. I think I remember seeing this like a little teaser that LEGO put out. So, if you guys don't know, LEGO actually put out this teaser in his um, uh, 2 million subscriber live stream. So, this was cool. So this was all we were gonna see, but now we get to see the whole thing now. So this is great. This is cool. What the heck? The lighting and the cameras. Like, this is just crazy. Wow. Wow! This is crazy. Is this Zizzy's encounter? Is this the theme Zizzy's encounter? I think it is. I think this, I think this is a Zizzy's encounter. I think. Whoa, Tio, what are you trying to say here, man? <laughs> oh my god, Zizzy is bald confir confirmed? Oh my god. <laughs> I, need, I seriously need to stop, dude. What? I'm just so stupid now. Why are you telling me this? Oh, is he talking about Z? Wow, dude. You really just first you roasted George and now Ziz and now Zizzy's sister? She you literally made fun of Zizzy's sister Z for not talking. And all of a sudden you just call her the mute one? Dang dude, are you gonna let that slice Zizzy? Oh my Why do I I seriously need to stop or else this is gonna be like a 30 minute 20 to 30 minute long video. Oh my gosh, I, need, I really need to stop. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry for such a long video and me being stupid. <laughs> wow, dude. Yes. Yes. Come on, Zizzy. Yes. This is. This is. Yes. Come on, Zizzy. She would never join someone like you. She would never. That doesn't matter at the moment. So. So I'm guessing this is showing a little bit of the ending cutscene from the distraction chapter. So, so this is not the rest of the ending yet, I think. But yeah, that was cool. Is this a distraction? I need to make a distraction. There you go. That was smooth. What the heck? Wait, where did you get? The, how did you do that? Where, and where did you even get that from? Oh, I can see a purple key on the bench there. I can blow up the place. Yeah. Okay. Wait. 
Don't tell me it's in there. there it's still gonna be there. Oh wait, the radio. Ah, the radio from the lat from the chapter two to three film. Yeah. Is it actually gonna be still there? Don't tell me. No way, dude. It's actually still there. <laughs> oh my, this is actually still there. What the heck? I didn't think that that Lego would actually put, actually still put that there. But like, geez, I didn't know that was actually going to be still there. But like, geez, that 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 was unex, unexpected. He that was that is literally still there. Huh. Fat Willow makes a return in this, so she's still there. The lighter from doors. What the? What the heck? You can't just okay, bro. Okay, bro. Just do whatever you want to do, Lego. If you want to make a reference to doors, do it. Even from Spider-Man, just do it. If you want to make a reference to any other game or movie, whatever, man. Just just go for it, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not complaining. What the heck just happened? They're still there as well. What the heck, dude? So we got Philip, Felix, Kitty's old design. Uh, Pandy, Katie, and Baron. What the heck? How? I, I wasn't expecting them to be still there. But like, jeez. No wonder why they said they took down the guards. Yes, they did. So yeah, they're pretty much just paralyzed from the trap that um, George or Lego used. I, I don't think. I, I don't remember. Yeah. But how did they? They're, do they're literally. That? So they're, what the? That literally just scared the crap out of me. What the frick, dude? What the freaking heck, dude? That literally just scared the crap. Oh, oh! This, this has to be fake. This is all in her head. This is this has to be on her in her head. But don't tell me that's it, dude. Is that really it? Wait, something feels weird, huh? Wait, no more HP simplified funny bits. Wait, oh wait. I think I know what Teal. I think I know what they're trying to say here. So, so I'm guessing that was Teal saying no more HP simplified funny business. Now it's over to MS Mincho. Oh my! Like, did I just seriously? Did I just seriously give out the official P font? Dude, I wasn't supposed to do that, or was I? I don't know. But either way, I I, I don't think I was supposed to share it. But I don't know. I don't even know anymore. But. But HP, but I'm guessing that Lego mainly uses HP Simplified for the end of his film. But I'm guessing it's only for one part of the dot so for the, for one part of the text. And now, and now Tio is. Now I'm in control. Yeah. So, so Tio is now in control with the official piggy font. So now Lego is not using his uh, HP Simplified font anymore. I guess. Mainly because Tio is in control. <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Don't tell me. That is. Li Are you kidding me? That's just it. You don't. You really had to leave us off there with the cliffhanger, didn't you, Pete Lego? Oh my goodness, that was just so good. What the heck, dude? It literally got serious straight to the point where the outro music isn't playing anymore. Jeez, that was just so. Good dude, what the heck? Okay, so I said that I would be reading the whole entire description of the film, so let's take a look at it. What's up guys, it's been over a year since I made a film like this, goodness gracious. I'm sorry this took so long. This was past due, like beyond the Spider-Verse controversy with animators. Unable to make a movie in the next year, I'm getting off topic. During my life, I was following MCU's take on directing movies, and as I grew- wait. I think- I- Think Lego is talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think that's what it stands for for MCU for short. Anyways, as I grew older, I realized my original script for Trust Issues was so bad. Too many comedic jokes. It ruined the tone. It ruins the tone of the film. So I decided to rip, branch out and watch other movies, documentary videos, and tips and advice to a better story writer to be a better story writer and animator. And I am proud to say I've gotten a lot better since then. And I have taken my own direction of filmmaking and directing. What I made is beyond what I did last year. It's incredible. And heck, I'm so proud of it. Y'all will love it. After the distraction chapter, I have 18 minutes of the film left over for the next RP film that is Breaking Bad theme. Oh, Breaking Bad theme, okay. So you better look forward to that. Also, I've been composing music lately, including in this film. So if you hear something different, then that's probably me. 
Wow, dude. Wow, dude. That's just crazy. Okay, so. Oh, wait. Wait, he actually used Nico's next spot's outbreak by Nico Petty in this film? I didn't know that. Okay, so that that's nice. Wait a minute. I feel like there's something that we're missing. So, um, apparently, um, both of these thumbnails are different. Let's see here, this one and this one. So, let me open these up in a new tab. And, uh, here, I'm gonna pause that for a moment because because we're we're not we're mainly not focusing on the film, but we're actually gonna be focusing on the thumbnail. So, I think I'm able to open the thumbnail. Can get you help? What the, help? Mode? Oh, there. Okay. So here, these are the thumbnails. Okay, right here. that came out of nowhere. Also, what happened to George? Wait, let me pause that too. Up? I gotta pause that too. So here, let me do this. So apparently, Teal is taking over Lego's RP film thumbnails. So, for Willow gets run over by a car, this one says, Someone is in this memory. Don't you tamper with the original timeline. Huh. Okay. And this one, I'm gonna tamper with this memory. Oh. That, that's different. Also, the lo also one thing that I mainly notice about the thumbnails is that the logo is different. So, I'm guessing LEGO is using a new RP Film logo. I, I, I believe so. But yeah. So uh, anyways, without further ado, we're going to move on to the second part, which is the behind the scenes. Okay, so now we're going to be reacting to the behind the scenes and cut content. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this because I want to see how how LEGO was managed, actually managed to make these movies, man. Like, they're, they're just that good. Wait, is, is there 4K quality for this one? Okay, there isn't, but we're going to put it up to higher quality, so let's hey, go. Hey, want to see behind the scenes and cut content from Piggy RP Film first? Let's start off with some scrap scenes. I'm gonna try not if you to guys pause remember it. the Trust Issues official clip, I put a scrapped scene in that video. Because one, mainly it was bad. Two, I just put there for filler so I can increase in monetization. Wow. You really do, you really ha wanted to get mon- You really wanted to put that there for monetization? Wow, dude. <laughs> But that, that was funny how he decided to cut that you out. You see, I already planned Shoppy Animation a long time ago, but it was really bad because I didn't know how to do oh. Shoppy Animation to begin with. I was lacking inspiration. Also, the script is really bad for the original ones. I don't want to reenact the whole thing, but I want to show an example. Here. Okay, bro. Really? I spent 20 minutes just trying to do all that. Okay. You know what? You know what I think I should do? I feel like I should do a voiceover with the scraped scene and the scraped um dialogues. For the, with the scraped scenes and the scrapes the scrap. I can't even pronounce that. I can't even pronounce anything right now. What the heck? The scrapped sc scene and the scrapped dialogue. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you want to take a look at the original script for it, it's so bad. Yeah, I I'm gonna do a voiceover on this one, on the scrapped scene in the dialogue, so... Be if I do that, be sure to stay tuned for that, I'm gonna be doing it soon. I probably will, but anyway, stay tuned for that to come out. link in the description. Take a yeah. read, if you want to. Oh! So that's the old script right there on Twitter. Oh! Here's the history of how I made this film. Oh my gosh, that, that is a lot right there. Okay. That is way too much there, dude. Okay. Okay, okay moving on to the next one. Does anyone remember I'm, I'm not gonna read the whole entire history, but I... Or the whole entire script. I will do this off camera after I end the video right there. So, or probably after this this one this second video. So anyways. June twenty first, twenty twenty one message I made and getting along. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, this scene relates to this. So oh. I was animating the scrap scene, the continuation of chapter six. But over time, as I um, started to open up new projects, for some reason it crashed out of nowhere, and then I lost the projects. Oh. Here's what these scenes look like without the camera. Oh. 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 That's cool. Oh, you know, oh wait, there this is one major thing that I noticed. 
from the lighting in Roblox Studio in Moon Animator, the lighting is like much more different than than how than what happened in the film. Like the lighting for the film is like different than the one on the right. So this the, this one is just the one on the right right here is like just regular lighting that he mainly uses. But over here on the left, he pretty much used some filters to make the lighting look this good. So he pretty much used some filters to fix on this but like I'm still wondering how he did that though. That's just so cool. I'm just wondering how he did that. Oh my! <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! That that that. Why does that look so funny to me? Oh. He just should have came out of nowhere. Wow, this is completely different. Should be moving, but how did they do that? This part literally scared the crap out of me. Oh wait, one cool. more thing. I remember oh. this one person no. telling me that they'd rather have the models that need to use different. now. So that's what I did for just two scenes, and whenever I did it, it looked so weird. Like without the cheeks, it's 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 so strange. What? Okay, now, um, with the redesigns, they can, they, yeah, I kind of agree, they do kind of look strange. I kind of prefer the OG read it does I kind of prefer the OG designs, though. They, for some reason, it look, kind of looks weird with the redesigns, so. What do you guys yeah. think, man? That's all I could say for now, but let me know in the comment section if you want to ask more questions, and I'll try to answer them as much as I can. Okay, bye. Okay, well, that, that's pretty much it. Now... For the last video that we're going to be reacting to, it's actually going to be a little secret audio recording. So uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it, so let's go. Okay guys, so this is actually going to be the last thing that we're going to be reacting to for this video. So this is actually going to be an audio recording.mp4. So let's look at the description right here. Days turn into weeks, weeks turn into months, months turn into years, and maybe years turn into decades. I've been stuck in that prison for God knows how long, now called my home. Looking back at this recording made me realize how far gone I am from humanity. At this point, I don't care anymore. But anyways, uh, let, let's, let's just take a look at this. I, I already liked the video before I started recording this, but anyways, without further ado, let's just get right into it, and I'll explain what's what's been going on at the end of this video. So, let's see here. Poor quality, I see. I mean, it is VHS, so. Oh. Audio recording number one. Why do you treat me like that? Why? Huh. I just wanted to see someone again, but it was his fault. My voice hurts so bad I can't speak. I can barely speak. Yeah, hold on. I, I feel like the they, the subtitles look a little bit off. I'm gonna I'm gonna like resize them to like fifty. Um prob seventy five or no, seventy five should be good. Yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I can't find any light. This is the only thing I have right now. But like, guys, W W to W to Lego for putting in captions in this. Okay, I created light. I can see that. Also, I put a filter in my voice. I like to talk properly. Thanks to the spellbook. I've been exploring this room for countless. Oh wait, is this T.O.? Is this Teal's backstory and hours, all I, I think this is Teal's backstory. All I know is I can feel workers around the mess. I find it fascinating how he was able to create that. I can see my own prison. Huh. This is cool. I just realized this. I'm all alone. Yeah? I have no one to talk to. 
That was a short rec audio recording, but that 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 literally just scared the crap out of me there. <laughs> Damn, his laugh is like just giving me the chills and scaring the crap out of me. I just realized this. This is my own room. Not a prison. I can create it however I want it to be. I can create furniture. I can make it... I can have a library. I can make it more hot book. Why didn't I realize that? Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Doing this never made me feel so... alive. I can do whatever I want here. I can create what pleases me. I need more power. I want to build an empire, and no one can stop me. Dang, it looks like we're getting more lore to this RP film universe. Yeah. Maybe I should build a zombie apocalypse. But this time, I want to keep the body fresh. Oh, so that's how the infection started in the RP film universe. I don't want them rocking. I mean, there is a reason since he is pretty much family friendly after all. Well, besides from the, from from a specific part. <laughs> but okay. Hello, recording device. It's been a while since I've seen you, but I won't be needing you anymore. Wait, what? Look, I got one more match to make. I won't be able to do this. Wait. Is this... did number 7 already pass, or... okay, good. Um, so, I was able to create a friend to help me along with my journey. Well, he was quite, let's just say, annoying, irritating at first. But, I convinced him to follow my orders. So hopefully, the process is going smoothly. Now, Oh yeah, creating a virus for this millionaire whose wife is sick. That's unbelievable. But it's the perfect plan. Everything's here. It's just memories of my past that I moved on from. Wow, I can't believe I was this stupid. <laughs> well, I won't be needing you anymore. Wow! Wow, that was just absolutely crazy. Okay, dang, that that was just damn. The that Teal's backstory literally gave me the chills. I believe it's Teal's backstory, and I believe the person who betrayed Teal was probably Mr. Stitchy or like somebody else. But I don't know. I'm probably gonna go for Mr. Stitchy for right now since he is his old. Teal is. I mean, Mr. Stitchy is his old. Teal's old friend according to the distraction chapter and according to the piggy community but anyways um so let me explain what's gonna be happening here so basically um at first this actually happened a little while ago probably like yesterday so Lego actually put out a clue in, in for for this fan, fan base to find out and this was actually in the group land in Roblox so so yeah so according to Twitter, Lego said that he released his clue in for his fan base somewhere, and people are going to his grip land to figure out the code. And people actually did that, and that little code, as people got in, as soon as people got in, um, they, it, it, they, it, people saw a piece of paper, they clicked on it, and it was like a little something and a little. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it, it pretty much led to um, this video right here, this audio recording. I'm not gonna give out the link, but th 
But you know what, actually, you know what, I, I, I might as well just give it out away since it's, since people are starting to find out. So, if you guys want to watch any of these three videos, check out the link in the description box below. I will have a link to them. And if you guys would like to check out PJHL Films, I will also have a link to his channel in the description box below. But like, dang, this was just like so good. And also, this is literally a long video. I went to go import this and I went to go edit this footage, some of these footages and uh, apparently my reaction to Trust Issues Part 1 that I recorded earlier was 20 minutes long. How the heck did I manage to make that footage 20 minutes long? That's just crazy. And this is probably going to be like a 30 minute long video. So yeah, I'm just going to stop. So uh, I'm going to show you guys what what, I, what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go into his group land and I'm going to show you guys what it is. So now I'm in the group land and this is what we're going to be paying attention to right here. So we're going to go over here. So I'm currently all alone since people already found out and people are not in here anymore. So... Let's go over here, and we're gonna do this right here. So we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go to a specific part to figure this out. So th this is what led to the audio recording right here. So this is the group land right here, and I saw it on Twitter. And uh, here, we're gonna do this. Th this is it right here. This little cabin right here. So here, I'm gonna... Here, so this this code is like 19 digits actually. Yes, you guys heard me right. And uh, I always hate it when it when my screen literally frozes. Like, okay, so here I'm gonna type in the code. There we go. And uh, as soon as you enter in, it actually leads to this piece of paper right here. And if you click on it, that pops up. And uh, what this actually is, this is the opposite. This is actually supposed to be the opposite right here. So it's like all all the way around. So so it starts from F and then it ends with E. So that's this is what led to the to the audio recording right here. And I obviously can't get out, so... Anyways, I I'm probably just gonna end off the video right there, so... I hope you guys enjoyed this 30 minute long video of my reaction to like 3 videos from PJHL Films that is RP film related. Which is the behind the scenes, Trust Issues Part 1. Trust is I meant Trusted from the beginning, which is Trust Issues Part 1, behind the scenes, and the audio recording. So... I, as always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, don't forget to like the video if you guys do like it, and be sure to go check out some of my other videos on the channel, and be sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this, and uh, don't forget to click the notification button to never miss the video ever again. Also, don't forget to check out my social media links, it will be down in the description below. And uh, geez, dude, this has been quite a long day, and I've always wanted to react to this ever since I got back from vacation, and now it's finally here. So uh, here you go. And uh, for some reason, I don't know how most of my reactions to his RP films blew up. Like, Bittersweet Union blew up to like 3, 3.5k views. And my reaction to trust to the official, to the preview clip for Trust Issues literally went up to like 921 views. Like, that's just crazy. Like, I don't know how both of these blew up. Like, that's just crazy.